Back on the blend this morning, Jack Wires from Family Elder Law of Mid Michigan. Good to see you. Good to see you both. Well, so, you know, back to school time, you think yeah. of back to school time. Yeah. So what does that mean for you, an estate planning attorney? So it, I think it really kind of brings up something that most people never think about. So when, when folks have kids who are going off to college, you know, once they've turned 18, they really need to get powers of attorney in place for both financial and healthcare matters. Well, so, so you're not automatically, you don't have that power to make the decisions once yeah, they it, go off? Once, once you're 18, you're an adult. So you're, in, 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 you know, an individual with full rights. So a parent doesn't necessarily, if a, if a child went to college and got sick or was in the hospital and, and, and need somebody, they needed somebody to make healthcare decisions for them or financial decisions for them, nobody has authority. And the only way that you can get that authority is through a guardianship conservatorship at, at the probate court or you have powers of attorney in place. So we always recommend to folks that when you have a child going off to school that they should put powers of attorney in place. So then who makes that decision if they're not there? You so there, you've got to go to the courthouse and get an, you know, have an emergency guardianship put in place so that the parent can make decisions for, Which decisions not, for the child. Not what you want to do when your kids no. are No, 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 That's there's a lot of rigmarole hassle and you really don't want to burden the courts with that either. Right. So it's, it's a pretty simple fix to just have the powers of attorney put in, in place. But most people just don't think about it. I mean, it's just well, I mean yeah, no, I would never think about it. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. if they're still at home at 18. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we always tell folks, if you're 18 years old, you need powers of attorney in place. So, wow. um, but it, hmm. back to school time is kind of the time where it comes to mind because we can, there's children Ship leaving the, and, leaving the yeah. nest, right? <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, planning and prepping, which you always talk about, mm -hmm. some of those things you just, uh, you just don't think about. Right, and that's what we always say, you know, it's it's the kind of everything you you know everything you ever, ever want to know about estate planning, but we're afraid to ask her. It's what you don't <laughs> yeah. know that that is really what you need to know. And uh, you know, a lot of folks have a kind of a general idea about what they need, but there's a lot of these kind of intricacies and nuances that people just never think about. And you guys do a lot of educational series where people can find out, but there there's no pressure to okay now you have to spend right this right money yeah. I mean, our kind money. of our firm philosophy is to educate the public as much as we can yeah. so we hold complimentary workshops have folks come in and kind of go through all these mm -hmm. kind of the horror stories if nothing else and then some yeah. success stories also yeah. so that folks know you know how that kind of fits in their situation and if they want to come in and see us after that they're welcome to if they don't and they actually if they come to workshop they comp they qualify for a free meeting with us in-house to kind of go over their goals their concerns and if they choose not to to engage with us they the only skin they have in the game is the time they've spent with us. Well, and we've got your information on the screen, Jack. Great, great advice. All right, great to see you, Jack.